In this video I'm showing how I sealed a concrete slab in our patio using Bare Premium Concrete Brick and Tile Wet Look Sealer. This is the last step in my patio project which began with removing the old carpet, using an angle grinder with a concrete wheel to remove the adhesive, and then filling some cracks that were left over. And what I'm left with now is just kind of bare concrete. I actually don't really have a problem with the appearance of it. My only issue with it is that without any finish or anything on the concrete, it kind of absorbs every little bit of mud that the dog tracks in. It also has kind of a dusty feel to it, so I'm just looking to seal it up. One thing I kind of stress before you put the adhesive down is to make sure that you get all the dirt and stains off of the surface first. The sealant is pretty strong, so if there's anything on the concrete whenever you start rolling it on, you're pretty much stuck with it and it'll be really hard to get rid of later. I went over it once the day before with a pressure washer and then let it dry, and that seemed to work fine. I didn't really know what the result would be if I got the sealer on the aluminum around the patio, so I went around with some painter's tape and taped everything off. And after I had everything taped off, it was time to begin putting the sealer down. My materials here include a 5 gallon bucket of the Bare Wet Look Sealer. The stuff is a little bit expensive. I paid just over $130 for this bucket, which made this the bulk of the cost of the project. I plan on putting down two coats, so I picked up two 18 inch rollers and an 18 inch roller frame. And you'll also need a broom handle, but most people have one of these laying around. I just took one off of a brush. And lastly, I picked up a 18 inch paint tray. The directions call for using rollers with a quarter inch nap, but the closest thing my Home Depot had was 3 8 inch. Now I'm no math magician, but 3 8 inch is close enough to quarter inch. Either way, it didn't seem to be a problem. Also shake well before using, as with anything that could have been sitting on the shelf at Home Depot for an unknown length of time. And my first impression of this stuff as I pour it out of the bucket here is that it kind of looks like vanilla Nesquik. The difference being that one of these tastes like a hazardous industrial chemical, while the other is bare concrete sealer. It's kind of a silence there. So I just went ahead and started rolling it out onto the concrete. There's not a lot to see here, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through most of this. On the first coat, I went a little bit thin, and I just kind of ran the brush back and forth just like you were painting to cover up the lines. As for the dry time, the directions call for 24 hours for light foot traffic and 72 hours for furniture. I put this first coat down on a Sunday, and I didn't have any time to work on it until the next weekend, so it had a week to dry in between coats. One issue I didn't anticipate is that I wasn't able to get all the way up against the edges of the patio with the roller. And you can see here that after it had dried, the untreated concrete had kind of a different tint to it. So I had to go pick up a small roller with a hole in the back that you can attach a handle to, and then pour out some fresh sealant, and make a quick lap around the perimeter of the patio. And while that was still wet, I opened up a fresh roller to start putting the second coat down. And the second coat here was pretty much the same thing as the first, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this as well. The maximum amount of coats that you could put down is four, and with each layer, the wet look appearance of the sealer becomes more prominent. Your mileage may vary, but I just put two layers down, and it accomplished what I wanted. After the second coat dried for a couple days, I went back and removed all of my painter's tape. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The concrete is kind of smooth to the touch, and you can tell that it's sealed off really well. This put a stop to the dust, which has been really nice, and it seems like so far it's been easier to clean up the mud and dirt as well. My only complaint is that for some reason it made the crack filler more noticeable. This is kind of a buzzkill because before it blended in really well with the color of the concrete, but other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So that's it for this video. Hope this information was useful if you're considering putting down some concrete sealer. Hit the like button if this video was helpful, and thanks for viewing.